This is Pete Thomas from season two of NBC's The Biggest News, giving you guys an update on week number five. Five dollar. Oh, that's a different story. Anyway, uh, this week the show starts off with a special kind of twist. There's a temptation challenge. And the winner of the Temptation Challenge will get the opportunity to divide the teams up and actually get an opportunity to split the teams off into trainers. Now, in my mind, this can't last too long. We can't go to individual trainers for too long. But for right now, this is kind of a neat twist. Tracy somehow wins the power. Mo, her teammate, seems to insinuate that she's got some kind of magic power over everything. And I almost expected bats to come out you know, out of the bell free. But anyway, uh, Tracy ends up getting the power and she keeps herself intact, her and Mo intact as a team. She keeps Shay and Daniel intact as a team and sends them off to Jilly in the train while she and Mo are training with Bob. And then the rest of the teams, she divides them up. And so she sends one teammate off to go with Jilly and another to go with Bob. Now here's the thing. Uh, these teams have been in intact for over a month. And so they've got a real strong connection with their teammate. To divide some of these folks up is really, really, you know, it, it's going to cause quite a bit of emotional mess, quite a bit of emotional drama there on the show. And we'll have to see down the road how that plays out for. But for, for the moment, right now, we see that some folks are very, very, very upset. Liz seems to have a new bit of determination. She is really on fire and upset about being split off from her teammate Danny. But, to be honest, at the end of the day, they're all going to do great. They're all going to do great, I think. And then we see the next thing. We see the next thing where the trainers actually go to work out. And Jillian says, there's nothing like a good beating to snap you back into shape once you've had you know, this kind of drama, emotional drama that goes on. And then we see that Liz is so deeply committed to working out hard that she literally works herself to the point of passing out. And the question says, uh, the question is asked, what happens when Southern women get mad? And she said, we get even. So I like her spunk this week. She's definitely got a, a lot of spunk. And then, of course, Dina. Dina is being challenged by Jillian. And Jillian says this. Jillian says, you've got the knowledge. You have the physical abilities. Now, Dina, what we need you to do is we need you to jump up on this box. It looks like it's about a 12-inch box. And Dina struggles with that box the entire the entire time and there's a message in there there's a message in that struggle her doing that for herself and we'll talk a little bit about that in the bonus session of course we move from there we move on to the actual challenge we move on to the big thing the big challenge and it is actually a race a race for videos if you win the race then you get videos from home and so the neat thing about this race is right from the beginning it's anticlimactic because the blue team they got three guys in the race three guys in the race and what you have to do is you have to line up you know each guy is on the on on opposite opposite end here so we've got three guys and one girl for the blue team and they actually have to carry their teammate over this course that includes a little mud pit and up a little hill and the team that wins they get videos from home like I said the blue team has three guys or is it four because I'm telling you Liz she she goes out and she performs like a trooper she carries uh, her teammate the entire way they really are really jamming and Liz is just sold out and committed and working awfully hard but it was a slam dunk from the beginning this was a blowout race because, again, you had three guys plus Liz Goose. There's like fourth guys. Big ups to Liz. You know, and so it was a slam jump. Easy, easy, easy win. But here's the thing. It was really neat to see how the contestants were willing to swap out their videos and give them to each other. When you've been on the ranch for that long, you get to know people and you get to know uh, how much it means to another person to hear from home. And so we see, for instance, that... Rebecca wants to give her video up to Dana. We see that uh, Liz ends up giving her video up to Danny. Very, very good interconnection, interconnectedness there between all the teammates is really neat. And then, of course, there's the, there is the last chance workout, and I'm just hoping that the last chance workout uh, that the blue team went through wasn't for real because they had to do a commercial spot. They went to 24-hour to fitness, and they did some kind of little week, little workout, while Jillian got to actually work her teammate out and and beat them to death. So I'm hoping that wasn't a real last chance workout. But then in the end, to me, the way it was really anticlimactic, you know, the blue team, they did really well. 
But we don't pit Bob against Jillian. We got to get rid of that whole thing because, you know, it's anticlimactic. We know what's going to happen. You know, Shay gets on the scale. Here's how it runs down. Shay gets on the scale. She's got to lose eight pounds for her team to stay above the yellow line. And she's got Jillian as a trainer. You know, they might as well just, you know, say, hey, we'll just skip this way in and save some production costs because Jillian is the trainer. Anyway, long story short, the black team ends up winning. The blue team has to vote somebody off. Everyone expects it to be Tracy, but Coach Mo, he, he falls on the sword and decides that he's going to go home because of all the aches and pains that he's been going through. He's a trooper. He's a fighter. He goes through a lot. And he's, he's been able to pull through and lose a lot of weight. Even at home, he's doing great. We're going to expect to see him do really well at home. But that's the wrap-up for this week. Check us out at winningman.com. Another great episode coming next week. I, I heard it through the grapevine that they can't keep this competition thing going too long. You know, we know what the results will be. Anyway, talk to you soon. This is, this is Pete Thomas. Remember, there's a winner within you. And check out the blog at winningman.com.